good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good uh, whatever your time zone is but enough of the introduction so because what we've got served on the slice of life today is so uh, this came out a minute ago already uh the video that we're gonna watch here and what it goes over is trudeau blaming everyone else for our problems that we have to deal with because of trudeau isn't that crazy though? The same person who has said this before. The conservative leader continues to use cheap attacks and slogans uh, while he tries to hide from the fact that he is standing with the wealthiest Canadians and against the idea of them paying a little more so that Canadians, can, young Canadians can buy a home, so that seniors can get their teeth fixed, so that young families can find a place in childcare. These are the investments we're making that they are standing against, Mr. Speaker. We will continue to deliver for Canadians who need them while he chooses to protect the interests of his wealthy friends. So the same dude who is acting like he cares about young Canadians with our inability to afford a house, let alone a couple sticks in the mud, is the same dumb who is now blaming the earth. Yep, you heard that right. He's claiming that the housing market is because of all houses going up globally, not just the fact that Canada's houses have gone up exponentially in comparison to almost any place on the whole friggin' planet called Earth. It is not because of Trudeau's spending, it is somehow not because of Trudeau's policies, but rather that it is because of the planet somehow affecting how much a house costs. Does Trudeau believe in horoscopes? If the rising moon matches with our economy, then all heck breaks loose on how much a house costs, I guess. It is somehow not because Trudeau is greedy, and also it is not because he's dumb with money, but rather because Saturn is slightly out of place for somehow all throughout Trudeau's prime ministry. Because that makes complete sense, right? Obviously not. And if you thought that it did, then might I introduce you to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That is something that you can believe in that isn't dumb, unlike our current Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But uh, enough chit chat, let us get into this clip of Pierre dismantling Trudeau's dumb claim. So now Trudeau is taken to blaming the entire world. It's COVID or Ukraine or some other global factor. If we could go back to the housing crisis that we're in now, just sort of as an overview, I wanted to run this past you. In 2015, when you became Prime Minister, the average house in Hamilton was about $334,000. 2024, it's $850,000 beyond the reach of many people. What happened? How did governments let this happen? Um, boy, we could talk about uh, the global economy, the inflation crisis that came from the fact that we had a once in a century pandemic. We could talk about the labor shortages that we're facing. We could talk about the fact that Canada has only about 4% affordable housing stock across the country. But if global factors really doubled Canada's housing costs, those same factors would have doubled housing costs in the entire world, have they? Well, this all in one chart compares how much housing costs and incomes have changed in all 36 developed countries tracked by the OECD since 2015. We see Canada compared to the others. The higher the dot is above the line, the more housing costs outpaced wages and the more affordability worsened in a given country. If the dot is below the line, it means that housing costs have dropped relative to incomes and affordability actually improved. Again, if global factors were to blame, all countries would see these dots rise together in tandem and the chart would look like this. But it doesn't. Instead, it looks like this. In Romania, Bulgaria, Korea, Finland, Italy, South Africa. So how does Canada rank on housing affordability in the last nine years compared to other countries? Well, under Justin Trudeau, we are the worst in the G7 and the second worst of all 36 developed countries tracked by the OECD. Only Portugal did worse. Somehow, 
these supposedly global factors only affected Canada and Portugal. Really? Yikes. 334,000. And then that price jumped to 850,000. Man, just gotta love that for my future. Gotta love that for my age bracket, actually. Not just me. Cause we're all not going to ever afford a home like this. If I ever have a family, my children are going to have to pay the mortgage on that house. Like, that is insane. But, uh, can we backtrack real quick? Uh, back to Trudeau's claim about how the mean old conservatives don't care about young Canadians, which is supposedly as to why we need to tax the rich, which just ends up with more poverty than when we started. Uh, whoops, sorry, <laughs> got a sidetracked here. What I meant to say is, is that Trudeau claims that he cares about the young Canadians who can't afford a home. Meanwhile, houses have almost doubled under his leadership and everything else with it. Meanwhile, every young Canadian's income has become more taxed just by the fact that we are making a mere morsel more than we used to. And that is to essentially say that our income most certainly did not double or even come close to that. Whereas, just living in Canada has almost doubled. The math just ain't mathing anymore, folks. Oh wait, sorry, <laughs> it is mathing, because the people who can't afford to live anymore just become homeless and either live in a car or in a tent under a bridge. Uh, the rich get richer and the poor just become more broken down in life. And look, here's the simple solution to all of this liberal nonsense that is causing more and more Canadians to become homeless and or broke. Just vote conservative. It is that simple and that easy. And at least by you doing it, you'll be helping in making Canada great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.